Hello guys, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the Phone Gap video tutorial. In my last video tutorial, we have talked about uh, the file plugin and in which I have shown you how we can write and read the files using file plugin in Phone Gap. Okay, today I'm gonna show you how we can play or work with the media files. Uh, in the Cordova application okay and uh, if you want to learn something more about phone gap you can find it on my youtube channel that is youtube.com slash web boostings okay in which you, you can get all the types of video tutorials regarding phone gap ios android dot net and php okay guys yeah come back to the project first of all I would like to show you uh, that I have created a simple project if you don't know how, how to create a Cordova project you can find it uh, on my earlier videos on my youtube channel or on the infolog dot in websites okay in the uh, video section you will get all the videos category wise okay so just logs into the logs infologs.com.in and you will get the all video you will get access of all videos for free okay here i have created a new project okay that is and uh, also i have added one plugin that is cordova.media okay whenever you want to access or work with the media files like uh, audio then uh, video then you have to use or you have to include this media plugin to your Cordova project okay so first of all uh, let me show you how uh, what I have written in my index.html page so you can get understood easily okay first of all I have created a device ready event because whenever I want to work with the Cordova plugins I have to check whether the Cordova is loaded properly or not okay in the success and uh, I have created a function called play audio okay and I have passed a simple mp3 URL from the web okay if you uh, write uh, go to the browser and uh, paste this URL you can find it uh, mp3 file okay or you can also access with the help of file uh, the URL of your mp3 files okay and then you can pass uh, that URL to this play audio function okay the play audio function is created by me not by the Cordova application okay or a Cordova plugin right so here is my play audio function and I have passed a source file after that I have created an object of a media okay that is my media and which is global okay you can see the declaration is globally and uh, new media here I have passed the source I'm getting this on success callback and on error callback okay after that I'm starting to play right and uh, if you notice on success here is my on success that I have just alert that is uh, audio success and in my error I have print the messages whatever the messages is okay after that I have to update the position of my mp3 player okay on every second so I am checking the media timer is null okay if null then I am setting the interval for one second every second it will update the position of your audio file okay I am getting a simple method that is a get current position okay in my success callback and error callback in my success callback I have checking I am checking that the position is greater than minus one if the position is greater than minus one then I am calling a set audio position method okay and I am passing a position parameter which is given by the success callback of a current position method okay so set audio position 
this is my audio position and I'm updating a simple P tag okay that means I'm getting the current position of my song audio song okay after that I'm calling a pause audio okay now what is pause audio it's a very simple okay uh, if you remember we have created a global object of my media class okay so here I'm checking if the my media is available and the type is 0 type is 0 means pausing it's for pausing okay then my media dot play, uh, pause and uh, if the type is 1 then my media dot play okay that means it will resume or play the song right and up on stop same way I'm uh, checking if my media is available then stop and also clearing the interval okay which we have created over here otherwise this function get called every time every second okay so you have to make it clear and after that also your global object set to null okay so let's run here uh, you can see my mobile is here I am accessing my mobile okay so I am just running application okay this is my mobile now one sec I'm not hearing the voice or you can see here uh, I'll show you one sec okay uh, let me close this okay I'm playing the audio okay you cannot hear the voice because I have uh, made the connection between my PC and uh, my mobile so you can see uh, down here the audio is playing okay after that I'm pausing the audio the audio is paused on 13 second and now I'm resuming the audio it will continue from the 13 second okay yeah and now I'm stopping the audio the audio success and now I'm playing the audio it will start from the zero yeah okay guys now I am showing you the voice whether it's playing or not for the confirmation okay so I am closing this video from here and just I hope you guys have uh, listening the music okay now I'm uh, clicking on a pause video it's a uh, okay the video is audio is complete I'm starting the play audio yeah currently it's on a uh, three seconds so I am pausing it yeah it's on uh, seven second paused and after that I am resuming it it starts from the seven second and after that stopping this video audio I'm getting an alert and it's stopped on 11.729 second I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial and uh, one more time <coughs> don't forget to subscribe to this channel web boostings I hope you have uh, you are enjoying uh, to following this video channel if you have any suggestions or any comments you can post it on my youtube channels or you can send it to me uh, web boostings at gmail.com okay Thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.